Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I'm going to cover small but an essential topic called scroll bar widget. So without wasting time, let's get started. Scroll bar widget helps the user to identify how far they have scrolled and jump to particular position in a list. Scroll bar mainly has three components. Child, which represents the scrollable widget. Thumb, that indicates which portion of the scroll view is actually visible and the track, it is a portion in which thumb moves. You can see we have a list.builder and in order to add scroll bar to scroll view, you have to wrap the scroll view widget such as list view, grid view or single child scroll view inside the scroll bar. So let's wrap this uh, list.builder inside the uh, widget and go to name this as scroll bar and we're done. So let me save the code. And you can observe when I am uh, means when I scroll here, the small scroll bar appeared, and when I stop the scrolling, scroll bar fade away. Now, if you want that thumb or say scroll bar should remain always visible, then there is a property called always visible, and we have to make this value as true so that the scroll bar will remain always visible for you. So I'm not sure whether you guys can see the scroll bar or not. There's a small scroll bar. Okay, uh, don't worry. I will just increase its thickness a little bit. Okay, but uh, before that, uh, let's understand that this property that is the uh, is always show is uh, is duplicated, and in the new version, you will have the value called say thumb visibility. Um, there is again option called say track visibility, so so that we can have this track visible. So let's write here say true, so that uh, the track that uh, the scroll bar has will remain always visible to you. We can increase the thickness of the scroll bar. There is option called thickness. So let's use value of this thickness as say 30 pixel. So when I save here, now I hope you can see the scroll bar well. There's a scroll bar and which is having the thickness of 30 pixel. We can also apply the circular border for your thumb. For this, we have option called radius. And for this radius, you have to write the value in the form of say radius dot circular. And let's pass some radius. Let's say 20 pixel. And we can observe now thumb has got some nice circular value so flutter asking me to write here say const and i'm just obeying that one you can observe here uh, when i just drag this thumb nothing is happening okay i hope uh, you have sensed it okay nothing is happening when i'm just dragging this thumb it means by default this scroll bar is not interactive in order to make it interactive there's a property called interactive and if i use the value of this one as true so your scroll bar becomes interactive it means when i drag this thumb you can observe now uh, it is responding to events that i'm performing Moreover, when I tap on the track also, you can observe here a uh, list is moving. So let me just tap here, 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 you can see. Uh, now this uh, scroll bar is completely interactive. Now the most important thing, scroll bar will only be visible when your list is finite. As you can see, my list view has got total 20 items, that is item count is 20. If I just come in this item count, you can observe here, scroll bar uh, won't appear here. So it means your list has to be uh, finite. There should not be infinite number of elements in the list. Most of you might be thinking about customizing the scroll bar. For example, changing the track and thumb color, manipulating the padding, changing the thumb length and so on. Scroll bar won't have any support for it. However, uh, we can change the color of the scroll bar by using the concept called theme. But uh, in order to control other parameters, uh, it's not possible by using the scroll bar uh, widget. What we have to do, for getting the custom scroll bar, we have to use a raw scroll bar widget instead of the scroll bar widget. Let me know in the comment section if you want to learn the raw scroll bar. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.